Kickstart your dapper development with Diagrid Conductor Free. Conductor Free is the version of Diagrid's conductor service built for dapper developers using Kubernetes, whether you're running locally or in the cloud. In this video, I'll show you how to gain visibility into all your dapper apps and resources, apply development best practices, run component initialization checks, troubleshoot issues, and monitor common dapper metrics with Conductor Free. Here, I'm dropped into the Conductor dashboard that allows you to connect and gain visibility into a single Kubernetes cluster at a time. Adding a cluster takes less than a minute, and Conductor supports all Kubernetes distributions, including AWS, Azure, GCP, OpenShift, and local deployments like Minikube, Kind, and Docker Desktop. It's required to install the Kubernetes metric server to run Conductor, so if you're running a distribution that doesn't include this out of the box, allow the agent installation to take care of this for you. Install the Dapper control plane in just one click, or upgrade an existing control plane installation, enabling Conductor to take over managing your Dapper configuration. Choose a version of the Dapper control plane to install from the list of supported versions, automatically keeping your cluster compliant with the open source version support policy. Conductor will also install a set of default Helm values for you with recommended settings for development clusters, so you don't have to worry about control plane configuration. Specify if you want your Dapper enabled apps to be restarted in this process and finish creating the cluster connection. This will generate a Kubernetes kubectl command, allowing you to install the conductor agent on your cluster. Once the agent is installed, you can immediately get visibility into all Dapper resources installed in your environment, including apps, components, configurations, subscriptions, resiliency policies, and actors. Let's start with the cluster dashboard that surfaces up the most critical issues and insights. See these broken into three categories at the cluster level, application, and Dapper infrastructure components. In the cluster insights section, take a deeper look into the Dapper control plane, where you can monitor uptime and resource usage, ensuring that the core components of Dapper are up and running in your development environment. Here you can also check your Dapper version and see if there are any upgrades available. The latest Dapper versions, including release candidates, arrive in Conductor within hours, giving you the ability to develop against the most recent changes in the open source project. Conductor will also roll out your Dapper-enabled apps, ensuring all sidecars in your cluster are kept up to date, or choose only a subset of your apps to get the latest Dapper version, enabling you to test out Dapper features with only specific applications. Conductor also provides automatic version rollbacks so that if a control plane upgrade fails, it will automatically be rolled back to the last version that was successful. You can also revert your cluster to the previous Dapper settings deployed, manually going back to the last desired cluster state. Accelerating your Dapper development is the number one priority of Conductor Free. Stop spending days reading pages of docs to understand the benefits and implications of new Dapper features. Instead, use Conductor Advisor to be informed and apply best practice recommendations while in development preventing operator misconfigurations, enabling observability features, and adding additional layers of security to your apps. Receive advisory alerts for common issues, such as manifests containing plain text secrets, unscoped Dapper components, and app health checks not implemented in your system. Each of these advisories comes complete with links to related documentation and the impacted Dapper resources that are triggering this recommendation. You have the option to fix these advisories with a single click or dismiss them if they aren't relevant in your environment. Dig into the Dapper enabled apps running in your development environment in the Applications tab with a detailed breakdown of the health status and any potential issues along with the resource usage of your applications. View this in a dynamic graphical format on the Apps graph, which renders a flowchart allowing you to drill down into unhealthy applications and see how your apps are communicating, whether asynchronously through Dapper PubSub API or directly via the Service Invocation API. Isolate on an app to view its infrastructure dependencies and to see metrics data on the call chains between services, giving you a holistic view into your system architecture with call throughput and error rate metrics, allowing you to see where you have unsuspected bugs in your code. You can also sync the apps graph at any time for when you have made a change to your system that you want to see reflected on the graph. Drilling into an app allows you to see more information on Dapper app-specific properties, such as the pod uptime, critical metrics alerts, and Dapper annotations your pod is deployed with. 
you can easily view the CPU requests and memory limits of your pods, as well as their actual CPU and memory usage over time, broken down by app container and dapper sidecar, ensuring your dev environments are running as lean as possible. Conductor Free automatically ingests select dapper metrics and shows default graphs for call throughput and error rate, collecting and displaying data for up to the past 12 hours. C calls broken down by gRPC and HTTP, giving you a deeper understanding into how your apps and dapper sidecars are communicating under the scenes. By connecting your Kubernetes cluster to Conductor, you also get default alerts out of the box that trigger on issues such as high dapper error rates and dapper component failures. These alerts all show up as insights at the application and cluster level, notifying you of potential issues early on in your development process. Here, you can also see select dapper logs of fatal error and warning log levels coming from your dapper sidecars. These show up as unique alerts firing on suspect log entries in Conductor giving you insight into potential issues that might be hiding in your sidecar logs. Dapper is centered around infrastructure components, and ensuring you know which components are present in your system is key for Dapper development. Conductor Free provides you with automatic checks of the initialization status to ensure your component can successfully access the underlying infrastructure resources. Inspect the applications that your components are scoped to to ensure principal least privilege access and navigate to the application level to see component details, including whether a component has been active in the past five minutes, and to view the raw YAML manifest details. Here you can also view the throughput and error rate of Dapper API calls made by your app to the component to ensure that your call chains are completing successfully end-to-end. -end. Explore these features as well as many others today by signing up for a conductor-free account.